right. Welcome, everybody. I know this was not a planned stream by any means. Generally, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I've been thinking lately, and I know I need to try and do some daytime ones that are a bit more agreeable to, to those that are in different time zones. Um, just because if I'm always doing it at night, that's going to limit myself to, or, or limit the stream to, you know, those that can only view it at that time of day. So, yeah. So, those of you that are new, feel free to say, to just say hi and chat if you want. Just whatever, uh, Mia! Hi, Mia! Uh, but yeah, so, I just thought it'd be kind of fun. I was thinking about doing this today anyway, and I was just like, well, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it on stream. So, hi, Sarah! So, yeah, different time of day. Different time of day, but it's the weekend, and husband's got the kiddos, the house is quiet, so I thought that this would be a good time to do it. So, uh, as most of you know, we finished our... Hi, Kimmy! Uh, we finished our uh, picture on Friday. We're going to start with Lost Ocean tomorrow, not today. This is kind of, like I said, a sort of little treat stream. So what we're going to be using today are the Windsor & Newton watercolors. Now you can see these ones are fairly well loved. I made myself a little swatch that I keep uh, that I keep inside here. Um, yeah, I've used these a lot. As you know, I never clean out the palettes because I am awesome like that. Um, but this is, I believe, the 45 half pan, which I have in the link in the description uh, if you want to do that. Let's see, who do we have in here? Let's see, we got Kimmy, Mia, Sarah, Pat. Hi, Pat. I am so glad to see you here. Just got up 30 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because it is like 1 o'clock p.m. here. So, Pat, thank you for joining us. But, yeah, so this is like the 45, I think. And this is going to be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. So this is, the link is in the bottom for this. Um, there's also a smaller set in there if you wanted to uh, try out something smaller. Um, and then the brushes... Like I said, I took some watercolor paper when I got these. So it's going to be a little bit different today. Hi, Sue. Hello from South Africa. Yay, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Uh, but they don't really, I think they probably came with names when I got them. You know, on the little wrapping that goes around them. But oh my goodness, I have long since lost those. Uh, so I just sort of go off of my little swatch here. And again, you can tell it's all been... These are all fairly well-loved uh, paints. So, uh, I guess when we're talking about colors, I'll just maybe pull this up. Um, Cause like I said, I don't really have the names for them. Or, you know, I mean, it's just kind of like, you could use whatever colors you wanted really, but you'll be able to see, you know, it's the blue, it's kind of, you know, the warmer. So we'll, we'll talk about these colors here. Cause these should all be in color order for how they're on here. So, yeah. Let's see, I'm wondering, I'm going to turn on the fan one second before it gets too hot. Nice and toasty down here. 1 p.m. for me too, Pat. Okay. All right, and then the brushes that we're going to be using. Now, I could use a cup and a standard paintbrush, but a lot of times I like something a little bit easier. And I've just got paper towels here. If you wanted something that was more reusable, I've also used like an old t-shirt and torn it up into scraps. I just, I don't have it uh, today. But if you wanted something more reusable with paper towels, you can use some old cloth as well. Um, these are Pentel water brushes. They are super handy because you can just fill up these little tubes. They just untwist like this. Oh, it's my 12 year anniversary and my husband is letting me hang out. I've got to keep her at work, Sarah. It's the same thing for us. Like when it's a holiday or like Mother's Day, it's like, okay, today's a day you get to do whatever you want. You know, of course there's celebration and stuff, but you know, it's like, all right, you don't have to, you know, help in the bathroom with any kids today. You don't have to do any chores. So it's all about relaxing. Anyway, but these come in three different sizes of brushes. Small, medium, and large. So congratulations, 12, 12 years is a long time. We just celebrated our 10 year. So that is a big deal. Let's see. Let's see, I am going to, I thought I had these all full. You know what? I'm gonna rinse these out one second. I'll be right back. Just one second. You'll hear what I'm doing, but I'll pop up the be right back screen. I'm just gonna rinse these out one second.
just weren't quite where I wanted them to be. But anyway, let's see. Anybody come in? Let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Sue, hello, Sue. Cynthia, oh, Cynthia, I'm so glad. Well, you know, that's what I was hoping to do on Sunday was kind of bring in some viewers we hadn't had before. I know that evening time and for central time is not always the most agreeable for everybody. So, okay. So here we have our handy little canvas here. You can see I've done some. Uh, I did a few little blue flowers down here at the bottom, little pink flowers. I did the parrot. Um, so what I did with this before, the reason that I got this initially, and I mentioned this on stream the other night, is I had gotten some markers. Uh, these are just the uh, Arteza uh, art markers, or the Everblend art markers, which they're really good markers, but the problem with these canvases is they just have this minuscule amount of dust on them. And when you run markers on something that has any kind of debris on it, it tends to clog up the markers and dry them out. So it did not work uh, with, hi Kimberly, it did not work with this particular um, canvas, which I was a little disappointed on because you know, you think nice thick canvas, it's not gonna bleed. So that's why the colors are a little less blended here because I started out with markers and when it didn't work, I went ahead and went over it with uh, watercolors here. So, this may not be something that we continually to do, but I thought at the very least today it might be fun to just do a little bit of uh, watercolors here. So we're going to zoom in and we are going to work on this little companion fella here. So let's see. Let's see, who do we have in here? Let's see, Kimberly, hi. Let's see, move my mouse over here. Let's see, why do they promote them to use markers? You know, Mia, I don't know. Um, I wonder, and I didn't try this, it could be something to try if you, maybe if you took like a wet paper towel and wiped it off. See, I'm wiping my hand on it and you can't see it, but you know, teach his own too. Maybe there's a better brand of marker out there that would do a better job with it. I mean, the idea behind it is great because, um, those alcohol markers tend to soak through and the idea is they wouldn't soak through, uh, on, you know, canvas. It's got a little piece of like cardboardy paper thing back here. So theoretically, they would be great for this, but I just could not get them to work personally. No problem, SpongeBob. I was thinking about that. I almost just posted on Instagram, but I was like, you know what? That's right. Not everybody is on Instagram. So I went ahead and posted it on there too. So we've got this nice little bright bird, but I think we'll do some different colors for this bird. So yeah, let's take a look here. What do we... All right, so we've got all these colors to choose from here. Let's put this right here. Like I said, I made kind of a little, a little swatch here that has all of my colors available, and obviously you can mix these and everything. We're gonna open up our watercolors here. See, I haven't done this yet with the stream setup, so I think if we do that, it should work. And I'm not quite sure how long we'll go for today. Uh, the husband has the kiddos out at the grocery store and running errands and um, yeah, we'll see how loud things get when they get home. <laughs> so, but for now, I think we've got at the very least a good hour to, uh, to do this. I should check my Instagram more often, but I usually get in a once a week mix. Yeah, I've got, the, I've got the app on my phone, so I generally just pop in there that and I get notifications and stuff. Okay, let's see. I didn't really make any color plans at all. All right, so what do I do for these? I've got a few paper towels here. You gently can give these a squeeze. If you squeeze too hard, sometimes water. Zoom out here. Okay, so yeah, if you squeeze these, let's zoom in here. If you squeeze them too hard, sometimes they can leak a little bit of water. So you wanna be a little bit careful with that. But I'll test here to kind of make sure that you know I've got water that's flowing out of them and of course you can do it with just you know your standard brush and cup of water too you do not have to do it this way let's see okay so what we're gonna do one of these days I should set up like a secondary cam for the paint so I don't have to move things back and forth but I don't know how much my CPU would like that um, we are gonna start with the medium brush here 
And we are going to start with, let's see, let's do maybe some orange. Some orange would be nice. I'm thinking, thinking this orange here. Although this one's kind of nice. Yeah, maybe we'll do this one and then a little bit of the yellow. I do like me some yellow. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this in so you can kind of see what I'm going to do here. All right, so this is the orange that we're going to be using, and this is the yellow we're going to be using for this. So to begin with, I want to make sure I have you know, plenty of water on the brick here. And you can kind of take it up here a little bit to make sure you don't have too much. So when I, I'm going up there, that's kind of what I'm doing there. So we're going to move this back here. So. We've got the orange. Hi, Karen. All right, so now we're gonna zoom in. And we're gonna focus. Okay. And okay. And kind of like we do with the colored pencils, we're gonna start up in this corner here. And if you go over the lines a little bit, it's fine. No Tyler today. He is generally only available on the weekdays. Okay. The nice thing about watercolor is nothing about it is permanent. So although I'm laying down quite a bit here, I'm going to be able to bring in that yellow. Okay. Now, when I want to rinse it, okay, then I just squeeze gently and I kind of wipe it on the paper towel until I get something nice and clear. And that's good enough. I hear me, I need to clean up people I follow because there's so, so much stuff I have interest in. Yeah, I definitely have to go through every now and then. All right, now we're gonna do that same thing we did before about you know coming a couple drops on the brick and then get a little bit of yellow. If there's too much, you know, you can kind of wipe it on the edge. I know I'm not showing the whole thing, but it's hard to move it back and forth here. Okay, then we're gonna start at the bottom here. And although this looks like it is dried because it's watercolor, if you wet it enough, you can start to blend it a bit. And then you can always go back over as well. the brush we're gonna grab that orange again while that yellow is still wet I had no you could no idea you could I think you had a, a typo there Karen but if it's about using watercolors on the canvas yes okay bring him back in some of that orange again And there's probably some professional watercolorists that are out there. They're going like, what is she doing? Why is she doing it that way? And so let me, let me just preface this all. This is the way that I do it that works for me. There may be a more, um, I guess, professional way of doing this. But what I know is that this works for me. There we go. We got a nice little blend between the orange and the yellow here. Well, why don't you, as far as Instagram names go and everything, because this is so public, why don't we go ahead and post our Instagram names in the, uh, in the Facebook group? That way you know it's just um, people that are in the group that have your information. Just for 
just for safety's sake, you know? Uh, using water, regular watercolor paint and not watercolor pencils. Correct. Uh, let's see. Let me move this so you can see it. Kimberly, I am using the let's zoom out here. The Windsor and Newton watercolors. There you go. Yeah, I'm using the Windsor and Newton uh, Windsor Newton watercolor uh, little. I think they're called half pans, is what they're called. But I don't use them often enough to go through them, so the half pans are perfect for me. And I have links for it in the bottom as well. And I'm just using um, the watercolor brushes. Like I said, I'm sure that there is a lot more, um, I guess, professional way to do it. But I'm not a professional watercolorist, and this is just for fun. So this is a particular way that works for me. You see there's a little nub here, but I think, honestly, that's just a little imperfection of the canvas. So I don't think that was anything that I did there. Let's see, we get enough light in here. Yeah. I guess it'll do. Okay. Ah, there you go, Mia. Okay, so now we've got our little orange and yellow belly here. Let's see, let's do blue for his little collar. So I think that I would like to use. Let's do. Actually, you know, it'd be a little fun. Let's do this green here with this little lighter blue here. Let's see. Oh, just give it a shot, Kimberly. It's for fun. Okay, so we're doing this kind of bluish green here. Also, if you do exclamation point book in chat or exclamation point, uh, I think paint, you just type in the commands and it'll give you all the commands too if you wanna just double check what paints I'm using, what brushes I'm using, which paint I'm using, all that, or I already said paint, but. Brushes, canvas, all that good stuff. And there is a, there are links in the bottom for everything I'm using today too. Oh, there most definitely are, Mia. This is this is not my main profession, to be sure. <laughs> I definitely do watercolor paints as for for just fun. Okay, now we're using that light blue. Just sort of grab some of that darker green to drag in along with it, clean in the brush. And then, there we go. yeah, there we go, exclamation point book. We're gonna get some of that darker green again to maybe make this a little bit darker. I was trying to do super tight watercolor at the beginning, but now I just wet the whole sheet and throw color on watch it go crazy. Oh, most definitely. I, You know, honestly, I have yet to manage the, um, oh, you know, putting water down first and then adding that. Like, I I don't know, there's probably a term for what I'm doing exactly, but there's a woman on Instagram that I follow. Her watercolor work is just amazing. She, she lives, I think, in Hawaii, and she will go and specifically, she'll only use seawater for painting, but she gets like these little jars of seawater from, from different locations. It's not just, you know, just march down to the ocean and, and grab some, but she will, uh, yeah, she'll just get it from specific things and because she, she paints mostly um, like whales and sharks and all this stuff. It's absolutely great. It's on brand. It's favorite because they're synthetic binders. So extra, yeah. Yeah, I tried like a generic brand at Hobby Lobby, but it just, it was not great. So that's why I was like, all right, I need to invest in something a little bit higher quality. All right, now let's do, we got the orange and we've got the yellow, we got blue and green, the QR. I'm not too familiar with the QR brand though. Okay, let's see. We want something that's gonna go well. I'm thinking we should do more of the orange and yellow. 
Oh, what's the name of the artist? I'll post on Facebook later if I don't remember now. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Okay, now I feel like I want to look it up on my phone real quick for you. It is, because I follow her. Hang on a second. It is, I'll find it in just a second. I don't follow too many people. She's just, she's so talented, like what she does. Her stuff is just so soothing to watch too. I think she's got quite a few followers. Um, let's see. Of course, it's probably gonna be all the way at the bottom of the list. Usually the one you're looking for, for some reason, is at the bottom of the list. I follow a lot of other painters too. Yeah, how much you want to bet she's going to be all the way at the end. <laughs> I know her picture too, but yeah, I might have to post in the group later because I am not coming across her right now. Just a shame because I want to share her name. It's just like all the work sticks in my mind, but then it's like I can't remember. I want to say Cindy something. Cindy something. I have the worst memory, I really do. I gotta work on that. Oh, Cindy Lane Art, that's what it is. There she is. Okay, Cindy Lane. Let's see if you can see here. There we go. Cindy Lane, and she does like this is all watercolor. Yeah, Cindy Lane Art, and then she does wonderful videos like this see where she's got the the water down first and then she just lets it go like that is just I love that the amount of talent she has I'm telling you there are definitely some yeah there's skilled skilled uh, watercolorists to be sure but yeah Cindy Lane art is is what her name is let's see all right, now I know I missed a bunch of stuff up here. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so Cindy Lanar, one dog is sleeping, the other just got up. Yeah, I mean, the one that chews cords, he's actually allowed in here right now because he's sleeping. Let's see, has it rained by you yet, Emily? It has not, Kimberly, but it's supposed to start raining this afternoon and then rain for the next couple of days. Yeah, she's super talented. Okay, all right, so we're gonna use that orange again. Couple drops in there. Let's refocus here, make sure it's not blurry. There we go. It's like when I choose to follow like different artists, you know, obviously it's different when there's like colorists that I know and stuff, but if it's an artist I don't know, I mean, it's generally I follow them because it's like I see some sort of skill they have and I'm just like blown away. It's like, how is, how is that even possible? Like the skill is just, well, I guess that's what years of practice gets you, right? Practice, practice, practice. That and training, obviously. But that kind of comes right in with, with practice. All right, so this is a little dark, so I'm gonna clean my brush. And I'm just gonna use just straight water. Kind of drag this down, water out the ends a little bit. Just like that. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, so. Yeah, also. Yeah, I am too. So, yeah, we're supposed to get the uh, storm, which, honestly, with the way the heat has been the last couple of days, I'm okay with a little bit of rain. I mentioned it the other night. I love rain, as long as it's not life-threatening. All right, we're going to use that same yellow that we used on his belly before. 
I know this is kind of different than the coloring books, but it's kind of nice to mix it up a little bit. Plus, different time of day here, so, you know, it's handy. And then tomorrow evening, we are going to be starting that Lost Ocean, so that'll be fun. July is Watercolor Month. Maybe I should pull out my Art Edition Secret Garden. Definitely, I didn't know it was Watercolor Month. I'm going to do 30 Days of Flowers. Oh, 30 Days of Flowers was fun. You can see here my little paper towel, because I just, when I clean it, you know, I just around circles and so it ends up very colorful by the end of it okay so there we've got his little little chin chest area here so I'll have to join you Mia with 30 days <laughs> trying to there you go there you go yeah I think for mine I did um, I tried to use a different medium for every for every flower I, I had to get kind of creative on some of them I think I even did uh, coffee for for some and that was interesting painting with coffee that was, I definitely, it had to be really, really strong coffee and I had to do lots and lots of layers. Okay, let's see. Let's now do, I feel like we could do a dark blue here and maybe some of this light green I think would look kind of nice. So we're gonna do a dark blue. I knew I was going to do one of two things today and one of them was going to be this or I have a work in progress that I've been working on for ages and I should probably finish up at some point but I just haven't yet because I'm a bit of a procrastinator so one of these days we'll have to do that because I've just got like a little bit of background left and 53 members. I saw that. I know, right? Yeah, it was, it was, it was interesting to be first, not a SpongeBob. Let's see. My friend from YouTube is doing a color on. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me see if I have my, I was digging stuff out the other day and I think I've got my 30 days right here. One second. Let me check. Oh, here we go. Here it is. I do. Now I wrote it on my on my Instagram post. Let's move that so we don't get it wet. Uh, let's see. I think. Let's see. I think this one was tea. It was like a peach tea of some sort. Let me see if I can pull up my Instagram and see what it says. Because I the way I posted it is I labeled it underneath each and every one of them. So let's see. 30 days here okay here we go all right so this one here let's zoom in here here we go this one was digitally colored this one was digitally colored this one was with the Karanda Ash this one was with the Durant uh, here we can zoom out a little bit here we go this one was with the Durant watercolors this is with the Sleechy metallic gel pens I like to use. This one was charcoal. Uh, this one was Derwent Ink Tents. This was the Faber-Castell Pit Pens. This was the Lyra Rembrandt. This was the Koei Noor. Thanks for the alert, Kimmy. Yeah, this was green tea slash peach tea, because I think I threw in two tea bags so that I could get a nice dark look. But as it was, I had to do so many layers for that. Uh, this one is the Prismacolor Metallic. Those are the special metallic ones that I found. This is the Brunziel. This was the Stedler Pigment Liners. I kind of did like a little pointillism thing. This was Bria Reese Glitter Ink. That was an adventure to be sure. Yeah, well, I did circle ones first, and then I realized a lot of other people were doing circle ones, so I did kind of the interlocking frames for this one. This one is the Posca pens, so you can know I can't get a lot of detail, but, you know, they were colorful. So that was the Posca pens. These are the oval frames. So for this one, I have the Erosion Tin Tombow. I have the Faber-Castell Polychromos. There's one with ovals from our Facebook group. Yeah, there's there's a few of them. I think we all ended up just doing it, and coincidentally, it was right about the same time. This is the Stedler Fineliners. This is coffee. 
This was the Cran uh wax pastels. It's essentially like crayons. Uh, Prismacolor Premieres. Faber Castell Gold Faber. Windsor Newton Watercolor, which is what we're using today. Tombow Brush Pens. Uh, graphite. Then we have the Ergosofts, of course. We have the Master's Touch, Master's Touch Chalk Pastels. Then we've got Prismacolor Verithins. This one was a mixed media salvage operation. The original idea I had this one is I was going to paint it with sand and it was a disaster. So I think I followed it up. If you look real close, like it's kind of oddly glittery and gritty. Like it's just, it's not good. But I just, yeah, they just released the one with the ovals on a group. Yeah, I think I digitally added the frames and the ovals to make sure that everything is, you know, when I printed it out, I just took it into Photoshop. But yes, so this was a salvage operation and this were just, this were just uh, Crayola ones. So yeah, it was, it was a sort of challenge I set for myself and it was a challenge, believe me, by the end, I was like, I'm running out of art supplies. Let's see if we can zoom out here. But yeah, so I did all different mediums. Probably the coffee was my favorite just because it was just kind of fun. Still does not smell like coffee. <laughs> yeah, does not smell like coffee anymore in this one. This one actually does still smell a little bit like the tea, but go figure. <laughs> tea can hold on to the smell. Anyway, yeah, that was fun. Okay, back to it. All right. Okay, so we have our little blue cheeks here. There we go, super zoom. Here we go. Okay, so we got the blue there. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh, the green. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of this blue. Which medium was my favorite from the 30 days? Probably the coffee one, just because it was so fun. But as far as how it turned out and how it looked, um, okay, oddly enough, I really like the digital one, but that's just because, well, it's digital. I was able to get much more precise with it. Um, but I will say doing digital kind of has, you know, loses its magic a little bit. Um, yeah, the coffee was fun. Yeah, if we were to choose one that I enjoyed doing the most, probably the coffee. But these two didn't turn out too bad. But yeah, I enjoyed the coffee one. It was a, it was a fun experiment. Okay, I'm going to lighten that up just a little bit. You know, I have not. So I'm new to Arteza just because, um, yeah, I just got these. I have the Arteza fine liners and the Everblend markers, but I have not done the pencils yet. I saw somebody mention them in the group. So um, if you could compare them to any kind of pencil, uh, Kimberly, what would you say that they're most similar like? Because I hear good things. I just haven't tried them yet. lightening the edges on that a little bit. How did you get the digital printed? Okay, so I waited with the digital, I waited until I was on to the next page. Uh, and so I just brought the, um, I have the iPad Pro and it's got the um, Apple Pencil with it. And so I was able to use uh, the pencil to essentially color it. It's kind of like I did the toucan on there and it definitely, it's interesting. Like when I do this stuff digitally, it, it takes a little bit longer to be sure. Um, but yeah, I have an Apple pencil and the iPad. So I just brought the whole document into my iPad and then, um, and then after I did the first one, then I printed it out. Cause obviously I wouldn't be able to do it later. So I just waited to print that one until after I had it colored. Taking in a little bit of that blue here too. Oh, and I can't remember who suggested it. I feel bad. Like I, I see things and then sometimes I forget who suggested it. But I want to say maybe it was Connie. I did put together a playlist for Lost Ocean that is a little bit more oceany themed. So that'll be fun. Love the sepia look of the coffee one. Yeah, me too. 
I don't have them either. I had the fine liners, but had to return them because a lot were dried out. I love them. They're bright, creamy, layer well. I want to try digital coloring on my iPad. Yeah, let me let me grab it here. I'll show you what I did. Oh. Pull it up here. So you can use a couple programs. Um, for me, I used a program called Procreate. I'll grab the pencil here. And it's great because I do a lot of digital illustrations outside of uh, the coloring world here. Okay, let me pull up the program here. One second. So it's called Procreate. Let's see if I can find it. Lot of drawings on here for various reasons. Um, okay, I can't find it right now, but like this was this was the toucan that I brought in because she thanks for the leak. Oh, Mia, you're you're a goof. Let's see, Sarah. Oh, thanks for the lurk, Sarah. Uh, okay, so this is the toucan that I digitally colored. It's got a few different layers on it. Sounds good, SpongeBob. Let's see. I think I need to plug this back in. There we go. I don't think my pencil's dead. Maybe it is. One second. Let me check and see if the battery's dead on here. Oh no, it's good. It just took a second to... Okay, so you can see I've got all these different layers. Like the whole background was a layer in it itself. There were other layers that I was toying with, but, and I have this on my uh, Instagram. The cool thing about this is here, you can zoom in and see. So I was able to do, you can zoom in and color it this way, but it just takes that much longer because you're essentially working with a much larger canvas because of it. But you're also able to color, color up all those black lines. So there's the orchids those flowers. I was pretty proud of how the beak turned out. And then one of the cool things you can do, if you go into here, go to video, and you can go to a time-lapse replay, and it will replay the whole thing. Now this will go for like that, a few more seconds. It's slow going, but you can see the sped up version on on Instagram. But yeah, so like I digitally colored it with this one so you can choose, you know, your colors, all of your pencils. And then I use the smudge tool a lot when I'm trying to blend and stuff. But yeah, I just use a program called uh, Procreate. And it's super handy. I mean, I probably wouldn't have done it if I didn't, if I didn't have the uh, Apple Pencil, just because of the precision the pencil gives you. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay, let's get back to here. There we go. There we go. Let's make sure it's focused. Trying to be more aware of when I make the changes. Adding a little bit more green here. There we go. All right. And I think we're going to do the blue and green on this area too. So let's grab some of that blue. And uh, just to remind you, again, these don't have names, but I'm using this darker blue here and this lighter green here. No, I want to bring some of that back in there. I was realizing that's a little lighter than I'd like. And then to help blend, I just clean the brush. And again, I'm sure there are some professional watercolorists that may have a thing or two to say about how I do this, but it's just for fun. So, and this is just what works for me. There we go. And we're gonna 
do a little bit on the back end too. Just a little bit. Maybe make this a little bit darker. Use the brush. And again, for those of you that just got here, all of these supplies are listed in the description in the bottom with their links to Instagram. Well, or not Instagram, sorry, Amazon. And that's Amazon US. So if you are out of the US, I apologize. But at the very least, it'll give you its names and its details. Now we're gonna go back in with that light green. So there we go. Pretty little parrot head. There we go. Nice and colorful. Okay, now make sure that's all zoomed in. Okay. Oh good, Mia, I'm glad you found her. <laughs> well, and if she's in the house, she couldn't have gone too far. Okay, uh, now we are gonna use this kind of purpley one here, right there. And then we may follow up with one of these yellow ones here. We'll see, we may do blue, but we'll start with the purple, see where we go from there. Okay, that's gonna be this one here. I guess I suppose it's more of a magenta. I don't really have a true purple, I mean, but that's, it's paint, you can mix paint make whichever colors you want. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit in this corner first. Ah, hiding behind that chair. Well, she is little. Okay, clean the brush, thin this out a little bit. Okay, we to get some more. She is pretty funny. Mine's still sleeping over here, so as long as he's sleeping, he can be in here. I thought about having him leave the room while I do this so I don't have to worry about him eating my cords, but he sat out there and just meowed and threw a bit of a conniption, so I let him come back in and he just crawled up and went back to sleep. So hopefully he will stay that way for the duration of this. Yeah, we're definitely going to do some yellow here. isn't the exact same yellow we're using before, although they look similar. It's a bit of a richer yellow. So on his chest, we used this lighter yellow, and right now we're using this deeper yellow. And again, I can always mix colors if there isn't one that I want. But for now, this seems to be working. Are active puppies. I really need to start using my watercolor pencils. This looks like fun. Oh, most definitely. The watercolor pencils are great. Maybe we'll do an artist edition. You know, maybe maybe Sundays or like, you know, if I do weekend streams, they can be something that's like not of the norm of what we're usually doing. Like just quick little, hey, this is kind of fun. Something for a change here. We could uh, like pull out an artist edition and do like watercolor pencils or something next weekend. Like I can't guarantee I'll always be able to do the weekend ones, but when we do, we can just make them like, you know, intermissions from whatever page we're working on. Okay, we're gonna do the same kind of purple and yellow here. Clean the brush. Thin this out. Because if I don't thin it out, then we'll get those real harsh lines. And I don't wanna do that. some of that yellow again and if there's anybody that's coming in just welcome feel free to say hi and chat we are all super friendly here oh most definitely the way I think of it is is you take you know like these these are just you know 
bricks of watercolor and you know we're getting them wet and that's how we're getting our paint so imagine it like this brick is inside of a pencil if it really scares you too you can just take the tencel and use it as a brick and like get some you know get a brush and use that as your watercolor and then just do the brush so the pencil never actually touches it but yeah maybe one of these weekends we'll do mm -hmm. it'll be called watercolor weekends and we explore all the different watercolor variations <laughs> Has anyone here colored in Floribunda? Is that a is that a book, Sarah? I, I assume it is. If so, I have I am not familiar with it. A little bit on this nose piece Said I can't always do these, but you know it's nice when I can squeeze them in here and there. Okay, let's do let's bring in the little collar color and do some of this green that we have here. Yeah, we'll have to try the artist editions. Okay, we're gonna do see hello Patricia thank you for joining us welcome to our coloring stream but it's not really I guess not coloring right now we're painting I suppose <laughs> we're adding color to it so it could still be considered a coloring stream Ooh, I almost colored on my little palette here feel free to answer any questions or to ask, not answer, to ask any questions. And if you're interested, Patricia, we have a Facebook group also that everybody goes and we can congregate at uh, when we are not on stream. If you just do exclamation point uh, Facebook, that'll take you right to the link. Okay, and we're gonna do that light blue that we did down there. See, you can see it's struggling a little bit only because I did not put enough water with it. I don't want to do the dry brushing. That's better. There we go. Nice little pretty little fella. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. Nice thing is, is I made it so that everybody can go ahead and use that command. I don't know, Mia, you're here often enough. Maybe I should make you a mod. <laughs> you can pick up the slack when uh, Tyler's slacking off. <laughs> Ooh, Amazon delivery. Is it coloring supplies? Always a good day when it's coloring supplies. Really, who doesn't love an Amazon delivery? Like, I know I feel bad because on one hand, Amazon's putting a lot of small businesses, uh, you know, out of business. But it's just so hard to be mad when it's two-day shipping and it comes right to your door. <laughs> Especially when the kiddos were still in diapers because we could get that stuff ordered right too. If you want to, Mia, don't think, uh, don't, don't, you know, feel like it's an obligation, but if you want to, there we go. Add moderator. <gasps> Look at that. Mia is now a moderator. How does Johanna's books handle watercolor? I've been too afraid to try. Um, depending on how much liquid you use, uh, the pages will definitely curl. I prefer her artist editions for watercolor ones. But, um... Yeah, I'm, they, they do they do okay. I'm trying to think if there's a page I did with watercolor. I don't think I have really. Oh, you know what I did? There was, I think, might have been Magical Jungle. Page of Magical Jungle. 
There you go. Artists edition have thick, thicker paper. Oh, Mia, look, your name's all blue and everything. Hello, glad I caught this live. It's 8 p.m. here in Scotland. Awesome. You know, that was the idea because I knew UK and all of that. You guys are about six hours ahead. So now it's kind of like you're joining us for one of the evening streams. I'm trying to find... Okay, it is Magical Jungle, but it's not like that fun. I have too many of the same book. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you could get a canvas in UK, but not many available. Really? That's interesting. Well, you could always order it from the U.S. I'm not sure what the extra shipping would be, but I know that there is through Amazon. Okay, so there was a page that I did watercolor pencils. Using watercolor pens and with watercolor what? So, Patricia, we are doing these watercolor paints here, Windsor & Newton. Let's zoom out here. Windsor & Newton watercolor paints. These are the, uh, it's the 45 half pan, which the link is down in the description, as well as a smaller one if you wanted to try them. And we are using these little watercolor uh, refillable pens. So you got water here, so you don't have to dip it. I don't need to have a jar that I need to be worried about, you know, Yep, mod me a bear crystal. <laughs> I don't need to be worried about dumping uh, a cup of water over it. It comes with three different sizes. You have a small, a medium, and a large. These are also in the bottom, but these are what I like to use for the for the books there. See, I don't know if it's actually for watercolor, but looks and feels like Johanna's Artist Edition. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to find, because there was a page. Okay, here. This is a page I did. I used the Derwent watercolors on here. I went just super, super light, and I can feel it. There's a little bit of curling. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see here. So when I did this, I did the watercolor pencils. I just went super, super light on the water, and that's why these are handy, because you can control how much water um, is, is coming out of them. I mean, I suppose you could do it with a regular brush also, uh, but yes, I used watercolor pencils on these ones. I just used only as little water as I needed. And if you could feel it, you can feel that it's the, the paper has curled a little bit, but not much. Now, if you were to oversaturate, like, cause it's so, I use so light that I could theoretically color on this one if I wanted to, but I'm not quite sure how the pencils would translate on the back because the water is curled. So I would just say for safety sake, don't plan on coloring on the page on the back. I'm trying to see if there's anything else colored watercolor in here. I think that might have been it. Let's see, that was pastel. I mean, I know I did, how do you control the water? So these little tubes, these, as long as you've got the water in here and you push it occasionally, it, um, the, this brush, oops, help if I actually put it in there. Uh, this brush stays saturated and so you control it by just gently squeezing this tube if you need to get it more. Also, if you have something like this and you run it on, that helps to kind of coax the water out also. So you can choose to not have very much uh, water come out. I mean, you could do it with a regular brush by dipping it in the water and then, you know, dabbing it on the paper towel or, wh or whatever you're using. But um, yeah, I just prefer these also because they're compact and I don't have to worry about um, using too much. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You sort of squeeze the pen to get more water. Yeah, because I can squeeze it more and get like here. Let me pull this up here so you can see. Like next color I'm going to use. Well, I don't know yet. But like say I wanted to add more water to this one. Let's make sure this is in the color cave. Scottish lady on YouTube, she does watercolor. Okay, okay. Okay, so like say I wanted to add more to this. I'm going to go ahead and give this a squeeze. And you can see, you get little droplets of water that come out the top. Then I can dab it, and then I can go up here. And see, that's that's a little rich for me when I'm doing watercolor. So then you can squeeze a little bit more out, and now you've thinned it even more. See? So yeah, it's super handy, and it's just nice because, like I said, I don't have to keep a jar of water at the table and I mean, I'm super clumsy. So anything that might uh, <laughs> knock over is, is probably not gonna be good for me. Yeah, they're great. Just fiddle it around with them on just like a piece of regular watercolor paper or yeah, I guess even paper, I don't know. Regular computer paper would not hold up well against this. 
Because the other issue you have too is if you're if you're coloring on regular paper and it gets too oversaturating, the paper is going to start to crumble and fall apart and start to pill and you know start to shred. So definitely be aware of how much you're getting it wet. Kind of like with any other marker, if you oversaturate the paper, then the paper is going to start to rip. So definitely just play with it and find out what's most comfortable for you. And in fact, I think we will use that blue, but we're going to use a little bit darker here. And we're going to go up here on his little, his little shoulder here. Let's see, did I zoom back in? Make that pretty. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to rinse the brush. that out a little bit. Yeah, they're fun to use. Just, uh, yeah, just gotta practice with them a little bit. Gonna draw that out a little bit. And this little pinky color here. Is it live streams or videos, uh, Yvonne? kind of just a pink I had mixed up from uh, from this little bird over here so I'm using a little bit of leftover that I have on the palette it's one of the reasons I don't always clean it afterwards because I still like to use colors I've mixed previously that's one nice thing about watercolors is as long as you get them you know they're on a non pore service you can get them wet again and just reuse them there we go Where did you get the picture you're using? It's, it's on watercolor paper, isn't it? Yeah, it's so, yeah, exactly. There you go, Mia put the explanation. It's the Magical Jungle Canvas uh, that Johanna puts out. So, let me zoom out so you can see it. So it's this, it's a little bit thicker. And if you turn it over, you can see it's stretched around a wood frame, stapled, and then it's got like a little cardboard thing to help keep it nice and firm so that it doesn't bow at all. Yes, there you go, thanks, Mia. Um, but yeah, it's pretty stiff. And the link for it is down in the uh, bottom. If you do exclamation point supplies, it'll let you know that everything you need is down in the bottom. There are links to Amazon US, not necessarily um, like to Canada. Now I can watch you on the other days. There you go, Yvonne. Well, I'm so glad you were able to make it. Okay, let's do, what do we wanna do here? Let's do that orange again. The nice thing about these birds is that they're so colorful. You can just kind of, Make them any color you want, yeah? Tuesday and Friday, okay. Gonna do that orange here. So funny, so I was putting together the playlist for the Lost Ocean one. You know, I tried to get kind of not ethereal music, but you know, like a lot of like oceany kind of themed ones, but there was one that came up that was kind of like a, uh, almost a Pirates of the Caribbean theme. Obviously not because that's a copyright issue, but it has that kind of feel to it and I couldn't help but add that one. I mean, we're gonna be coloring a treasure chest, so you know, of course it's gonna be piratey. <laughs> 12 of the Tombow Blenders, yeah. There you go, yeah, exclamation point supplies. Thank you, Mia, oh, you're so helpful. I don't know, you might put Tyler out of a job. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean the brush so we can try and blend some of that yellow. And if you need a list of all the commands, you can also do exclamation point commands and that'll give you everything you need to know as well. There we go. My social. Oh, and I didn't zoom in. I'm sorry. Look at that. Okay. Trying to be more mindful. We'll see how well that works. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. There we go. 
All right, now let's do some blue here. Let's do, what blue did I use before for that? Um, see, that's the, that's the trick, is remembering what you used. So we're gonna do some of this light blue. No, Tyler's not going anywhere. <laughs> I like him too. All right, we're using some of that light blue here. There you go, you'll work together. <laughs> some of that green to the tips of his wings here. Make sure this is nice and in focus. Don't trust myself always to remember to refocus that. Okay, and we're gonna lighten up the ends here so we can add the green. Now we're gonna add that lighter green. Was the wrong green. Leave it to me. It's like the uh, blue glitter gel pen all over again. <laughs> let's, let's get some more of this. Okay. There we go. That's better. Brush a little bit here. There we go. That's better. How has everybody's Sunday been so far? Nice and relaxing, I hope. I mean, if you can't relax on the weekend, when can you relax, right? was a little loud on last stream so I lowered it a little bit. So let me know what it is. Thanks Mia. Going with the green on this last one. Let's see. Good, I'm glad Kimmy. There we go. Alright, got some blue and green here. And then I think we should do Choose a color combination we haven't done yet. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's pull in some of this pink here that we haven't done. I know an artist who started using masonite to paint on instead of canvas. I thought that was pretty cool. Has anyone heard of masonite? I haven't done that. That's interesting. Love a relaxing Sunday. Me too. Mia, I mod for color and thicky, you'll be fine. There you go. Does she do live streams also, uh, Kimmy? Or did we already, was that the one that was mentioned earlier? Well, look at you girls multitasking. <laughs>
Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I haven't checked them out. I'll have to take a peek. Well, the ultimate dream is to... Hi, Miranda. Thanks for coming in. How long does she usually stream for, Mia? I don't know. I find that my eyes start to get a little tired after, you know, three hours. But it also could be the time of day that I stream at, too. All right. And we're actually going to leave that with just a little bit of white on the tip, I think. See, she's good without me. There you go. Well, you are one of three, Mia. So you are welcome. Very, very welcome. I mean, like it's, it's, yeah. You get it. All right, we're using that kind of bluish green here too. It is welcome to have you. That's what it is. Something I can't talk sometimes. I'm good, Miranda. How are you? Just, uh, just thought I'd do a little impromptu Sunday stream. The husband has the kiddos out. They're actually doing the grocery shopping. So the place was nice and quiet. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Three hours. Thought it'd be a good opportunity to do that. Let's see. Miranda, I'm doing better. Thank you for us. Did I miss that, Miranda? Were you sick? Oh, I'm sorry if you were sick and I'm glad you're doing better. Uh, let's see, we're going to use a little bit of that light blue. I know this isn't what we normally do, but yeah, this is just kind of our watercolor weekends, I suppose. <laughs> there we go. She was in the hospital. Oh, well, I'm glad you're doing better. Hope it wasn't anything too serious but glad to hear things are better. Here we go, a little bit of blue on the edge there. Okay. I'll post it on Facebook. In the group? Did I miss that? Yeah, I feel like I need to look. Picture's beautiful, gotta go. Thanks for streaming, we'll watch the rest later. Have a good rest of the day. All right, good to see you, Cynthia. Thank you for coming in. Miranda, was that in the Facebook group? If it was, I'm so sorry if I missed it. Or maybe just Facebook in general? Let's see. Oh, Sarah, thank you for making that post in there about the Instagram names. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, if, if it was in the Facebook group, I apologize if I missed that. Well, I'm glad that it's getting better, Miranda. Sorry, you have to deal with that. That is no fun. Hospital things are no fun. Oh, on her page. Okay. All right. Well, I feel less bad then. I was going to feel really bad if I missed it. But I am sorry that that is going on here. Okay. So, let's see. We are going to move on to just on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad that things are, I know I've said it already, but I'm glad that things are going better. Medical issues are never, never fun. I was dealing with some headaches early this year and I finally, finally, finally got the, got a handle on them and got them figured out and life is immensely better than what it used to be, to be sure. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do some red here. Hi, Sherry. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Today we are coloring on a Johanna Basford canvas. Just for fun, we're doing our official start for our next page tomorrow, but today we're using some Windsor and Newton watercolors and some Pentel uh, water brushes here, and we're working on our canvas. Just seemed like a good day to do it. 
And the colors don't really have names, so it's just sort of, okay, a red here, a green here, you know, that kind of thing. So we're gonna add some red here, then we're gonna clean the brush. And we're going to kind of raise that out a little bit. Okay. And then I think we're going to take some of that light yellow that I like. Get some of that. Add that at the end here. There we go. Nice bright colors there. I got the canvas on Amazon, Miranda. Uh, if you scroll down to the description, uh, you can see I've got links to all of the supplies that we're doing today. I think I got it for like $11.99. You could also get it at like some place like Hobby Lobby. I don't know that Michaels carries it. Hobby Lobby has a standing 40% off coupon, so that's always nice. Um, but yeah, I got mine on Amazon. They have a few select ones uh, on there you can choose from. Okay, let's see, is that clear? Make sure it's nice and zoomed. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they've got a select. I don't know if they'll have this specific one, but I knew I do know they have a selection. And like I said, they've got that standing 40% off coupon. But I don't know what their base price is on it, so I don't know how much you'd be saving. Okay, let's see. Then let's do that kind of purpley color again. Go supplies or links uh, to all my coloring supplies in the description below. Yeah, there we go. Get my brush a little bit more wet. And whenever I don't want to clean my brush and just add a little bit more water to what I'm doing, I'll still do it over the paper towel so I don't accidentally squeeze too much and get water all over the canvas. Now I'm going to clean the brush. Yeah, they are a bit. They could have them. Let's see, I'm trying to think of names of stores people have mentioned. Let's see, I think Waterstones is a thing. But I would think that since Johanna is based in the UK, there's got to be a place to, to get them there. Let's see. Um, let's do this darker blue here. Yeah, I would think that since Johanna is based in the UK, they've got to have a store or something, like a deal with one of the stores. I'll tell you what I was a little bit jealous about for the fact that I wasn't uh, in the UK is when those inserts came out in whatever Sunday paper you guys had. It was a few months ago. It might have even been before her sabbatical. But I went even so far as to try and like find a store that had them, see if they could mail them to me. They did not. It did not work. <laughs> Okay, let's zoom out a little bit here. All right, so we've got a majority of his upper body done here, and then I can get every other single ones apart from Magical, Magical Jungle, yeah. Yeah, this one, like I said, I got it on Amazon. I don't know how, you know, I've ordered from Amazon UK, and the price was pretty comparable. You can try ordering. I mean, if you've got an Amazon account, I think they both work because that's how I ordered my Ergosofts initially. So you could try Amazon US and see if it's a better, beggar, bleh, a better deal. Yeah, those newspaper inserts. I wish I could have gotten my hands on one of those. Now, I know some of them were like duplicates of one she already has. They're there as downloads? Oh, I must have totally missed that. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some research after that and see if I can find those. Because I know some of them, there was like, oh no, wait, she did release it, didn't she? That's right, it was the, the llama picture. That's right, because I didn't print off all of them because they were already on there. Silly me, that's right, she did release them. It was the Christmas one. It was the llama. I did do that already. I was Miss Marimary. Yeah, here's my llama one. Yeah, I did do that already. Okay, that's what it was. That's right, I forgot about that because some of the pictures on it were ones that were already in books, but yeah, I did the llama one already. Silly me. See, this is what happens when you have too many things going on. You can't remember correctly. Now I feel silly. 
Okay. Let's do the little tail feathers. That's right. Here I am sitting here with this whole colored picture and it's like, oh yeah, I did do that already. I'm ridiculous. For some reason I was remembering it a little bit differently. Oh well. <laughs> All right, let's do some of this green here. There was a second one too. Okay, I'll have to check that out. And the other circles. Yeah, I'll have to look at that again. All right, we're gonna use this darker green here. And add a little bit more water to it. And I think my family is home, but it's kind of quiet, so we're gonna we're gonna just keep rolling here. Llama Mandala. Oh, man, I missed that one. I'll have to look into that. Okay, there's that green. Let's see, let's do some of that light blue. You know, I think there's, um, post the links in the Facebook group because I just remembered, I think uh, there are uh, some some issues with posting links in chat. I'll have to double check that after chat, but I don't want there to be, well, actually you're mod, you might be, oh no, Miranda, Miranda has it. Yeah, Miranda, go ahead and post them in the Facebook group because I think I have some, um, the, the chat has like some rules against links there. So yeah, go ahead and post them in the Facebook group and then that way they'll stay there and people don't have to look back from, um, for them through chat anyway. So yeah, if you post them in the Facebook group, then everybody should be able to get to them. More of that green here. The paper was only cheap quality, but that was because Johanna wanted to be free for everyone and better to download it. Exactly, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And it's the same reason why, um, like, as people always ask her, why don't you, why don't you get it in hardback, or why don't you uh, spiral bind it and everything? And she does a big part of that for cost. She wants everybody to be able to afford these books, and you know, it's true, they're very affordable for everybody. are here. I wonder if they'd like to come in and say hi. They're always super interested in what we're doing. I don't know. You think I should bring the kiddos in and have them come say hi? There you go. Yeah, Mia, Mia can post links because she's a mod. There we go. I don't know. What do you think? Should I bring the kiddos in for a second and let them just say hi? Uh, yes, Kimmy, I am. Yeah, Johanna Basford, your pages. Yes, I am in that group. Oh, uh, just do exclamation point Facebook, Miranda. And that'll give you a link straight to the Facebook group. There you go. Thank you, Mia. Hi, Katrina. Thanks for coming on in. Yeah, exclamation point Facebook. That should pop up here in just a second, Miranda. There you go. All right, Miranda, go ahead and follow that link and that'll take you right to our Facebook group. Yeah, you think, Kimmy? Okay, why don't I go grab them real quick and they can come say hi. One second. Right now, we're not saying our name or anything, but you can come say hi. You can say hi, chat. Hi, chat. Here, you can put your hand under the camera here. That way, here, you say hi, chat. Hi. This is one of mine here. The other one will come in and say hi a little bit too. Okay. 
Okay, that's enough for you. All right, out you go. Okay. <laughs> One of them there. You were actually. I heard you say that. Yeah. Alright, you wanna say hi? Okay, and here's my other one here. You wanna wave under the camera? You can say hi. There you go. Say hi. No. You don't wanna say hi? Okay, you just wanna wave. Okay. Oh, see, she says hi, kids. They all say hi. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Out we go. Everybody says hi. There you go. All right, here we go. You want to do it again? All right, out you go, out you go. You want to do one more time? Okay, real quick. There you go. Okay, all done, all done. There you go. All right, hi, other kid. There you go, all right, out you go. All right, you too, kitty. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Waving back, there you go. There we go. Let's see. Yep, they've been wanting to say hi. They've been pretty interested in uh, in what uh, mommy does after they go to bed. Let's see. Oh, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hello. So sweet. There you go. <laughs> uh, Miranda, we'll just say that they're little. I uh, I try not to like, give out too many details about the kiddos, but they are they are little, to be sure. But uh, no, they've always just been super, super interested in what mommy's doing in here. And in fact, I think uh, my oldest is out there watching the stream right now. So hello. <laughs> okay, so we've got the rest of these tail feathers here. There we go. And actually, they both have their own uh, Johanna Basford book. Uh, the youngest has Secret Garden, and then the oldest has her own copy of Inky Ivy. So they like to come in here with me sometimes when I'm working and they color with me. All right, let's go ahead and do, we're gonna do some more red. I mean, they'd be in here with me all the time if they could. Okay. Oh, most definitely. I mean, I'm probably more protective of them than the average in this day and age, but I don't know. I figure it's my prerogative. <laughs> oh, most definitely, Miranda. Most definitely. I have to remind myself sometimes how quickly they're going to grow up. Oh, good, Miranda. Well, hello, Miranda's mom. <laughs> we are just hanging out here, doing a little watercolor painting here and tomorrow we're starting our lost ocean page hi Sabrina thanks for coming in thank you all for being here I wish my kids were, were still little. Nobody colors with me except you guys. Oh, <laughs> my babies are grown. The youngest will be 18 in November. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we got a while until they're uh, they're 18 to be sure. But I I think I'll probably, when it comes the day that they leave the nest, I'll probably struggle with that just a little bit. <laughs> but we're getting to the point where they're in school a bit more now. And so I'm having to get used to the quiet part of your job as their mom to be protective. Plus it shows how much you truly love them. Exactly. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Started about an hour and a half ago. Yeah. Oh, Serena. Yeah. When did this start? I wonder, I wonder if uptime, if the uptime command works. Hey, Mia, try doing exclamation point uptime. U-P-T-I-M-E. I wonder if that'll work. 
Oh, mom said hi. Okay. Which pencil will be using the Lost Ocean? Kathy, we are going to be using... Oh, my baby is 45. Exactly what Mia said. 45. My one and her child grown now and moved to another state a few months ago. I do miss them, but we chat on the phone. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we do not live in the same state as my parents, my mother-in-law. So we definitely have to uh, do, uh, you know, Skype and video chat and all of that. Let's see. Hi, Connie. All right, we're gonna do the light blue here at the bottom of the tail feather again. There we go. Another light blue. My fellow wants six kids, none yet though. Oh man. Yeah, I'm good with my two. <laughs> They might leave, but come back. Promise. My son is 24. <laughs> so I actually had that conversation with the kids uh, a few months ago. And my oldest said, Well, Mommy, I can't live at the same house as you. I have to move out when I get married. So, but I'll come back and visit sometimes, if I remember. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we have, there we go, move that there so we can see, let me turn him a little bit. All right, so our handy little guy, I still have empty nest syndrome from when my son left for college four years ago. Even though I do still have one living at home, my son will graduate from university in December, it might be, oh, Yeah, it's bittersweet to be sure. I'm not looking forward to that day when they absolutely no longer need me. <laughs> if all goes well, he wants a full. A full football team. Oh man, yeah, I'm I'm good with my two hands. I got two two kids, two hands. That's about as much as I can manage. <laughs> I have three grandson, two granddaughter. I am so old. Oh nonsense, Kimmy. My baby graduates high school next year, so they'll be all be gone and won't know what to do with myself besides art and coloring. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, this will have turned into something by that. I don't know. Maybe the streams will be bigger or I'll be doing more illustrator work or something. I know I definitely want to do something art-ish, you know? All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this dark blue here. And we're gonna put that just around this little thing here. Probably could use a smaller brush, but that's okay. There you go. Well, you'll always have us, Crystal. <laughs> Thank you, Yvonne. Nice bright colors, I think. All right, and we're gonna do the beak. And I think I want to use, let's see, what have we done here? Use a little bit of this color. Oh, Crystal, I'm having to get used to just me and her own, plus fur babies. Never lived alone before, but learning now. There you go, Pat. I definitely pets. Pets are, I don't think I could ever live without having pets at some point. I don't recall a time in my life, even if it's just the family dog, I don't recall the time in my life when I didn't have pets. They're just so, they're so great, you know? I'm a young grandmother and love it. They keep me young. What pens this paint are you using, Emily? Uh, so today, Miranda, we are using the Winsor & Newton watercolor. Uh, they're the half pans. And then, this back, oops, didn't mean to bonk the microphone. And then we are using the Pentel uh, refillable water pens and then the coloring canvas. And we're gonna dilute that just a little bit. And then we're gonna take a little bit of that. <laughs> Tyler's here! My daughter has three chinchillas, they're fun. And they're so soft! Chinchillas are so soft. A little bit of that light yellow. There we go. So you have a dog, I'll probably be pet sitting my daughter's bearded dragon, oh my, if she has to stay in the dorm when she goes to college. I love how bright they're coming out. Me too. That's right, and her chihuahuas are so cute. Okay, um, let's see. So we finished this. 
trying to decide if we should call it here just for a short little Sunday stream or if we should do one more thing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have these flowers that are sort of half done. I gotta remember what color I used on this though. I don't wanna mess that up. I suppose we could do the branch or we could do this little flower down here. Could do that flower. I see it as a yellow flower. Definitely. I can't unsee a yellow flower. That's all I see it as. So I think we will. We're gonna do a yellow flower on this one. It's kind of hard to do with this one. Maybe we should do something top instead, but I've got the, the setup for the stream here. It's hard for me to do this stuff down at the bottom, so maybe we should do something up here instead. Uh, let's see. I do have this little bird of paradise here. I'm going to look up a picture of the birds of paradise. Complete the whole thing, please. Well, not in one sitting, Miranda, to be sure. That would take me that would take me a little while to do that all in one sitting, but maybe we can bring this back when we do some little random uh, weekend streams. Oh, Miranda, there we go. All right, Amanda, I just approved you in the Facebook group. All right, I'm gonna pull up a bird of paradise here. Bird of paradise flower. And Miranda, even if we don't do this one um, all the way on stream, I'll post pictures of it too, because really it's the same basic concept about, about coloring it, but then this way you can see the colors that I'm using too. All right, a bird of paradise. Oh, that's a very pretty flower. So I think that's a bird of paradise, is it? Maybe not. You know what? It is our picture. We will color it whatever colors we want. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. We're gonna do, let's zoom in here. There we go. That would be, that would be a long one to be sure. There you go. All right, time to throw those up there. Um, Okay, so we're going to start with, what are we going to start with? Okay, we're going to put, make sure I'm getting the right color here. Okay, we're going to get this one here. Okay, just a little bit of that. We're going to put that in the corners here. this and no problem Miranda I'm a multitasker I stream and approve <laughs> put that here put that here put that here then we're gonna clean the brush and we're gonna kind of fade that out just a little bit like that. Let's see. Fade that out just a little bit. Kind of key with any blending is that you want to fade it out so you don't have any harsh lines. Okay, and then we're going to come in with this kind of more red color. gonna take this green here we're gonna put that light green just kind of right here yeah isn't that nice thanks crystal and like I said I could always blend colors together to make my own but I kind of just like using what's in the palette already all right got that green there 
kind of touch up that pink just a little bit. There we go. I don't want to blend it too much because when you blend red and green, you can get kind of a brownish color. We want to be wary of that. Thanks, Mia. Okay. A little harsh now, but we're gonna clean our brush now. And we're gonna blend this. Here we go. Just like so. Alright, we're gonna take a little bit more of this pink. A uh, girl and a boy, Miranda. Alright, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our darker green. The blues and reds and the parrots are nice and vibrant. Yeah, that's the one nice thing about these colors. And especially on this white canvas, it really just pops. We're gonna do this darker green here. There we go. It's a little bit much, so we're gonna take some of that lighter green. Well, and I just, I love Color Me, I really do. Like the brighter and more vibrant it is, and it's just so happy, you know? zoom in you can kind of see a little bit better what I got going on here. I'm gonna add a little bit. Oh there you go Crystal. Yeah a couple of kiddos and a couple of cats. <laughs> Take that red one. Oh, didn't mean to hit the mic by microphone, I apologize. Here we go. You're the army bear. I'm really hard pressed to pick a favorite element or color in the future. Oh, thanks, Crystal. Blend it in with that there. Then we're gonna take that green. Wish there were more canvases available, but difficult to get on Amazon, okay, for sure. Yeah, I get that. There we go. Got a little green there. Well, I think she said that they're just really expensive on Amazon UK. eBay, yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, we're going to get this red again. so you don't get the harsh lines. And we're gonna get that green. I'm so glad, Crystal. Zen is good. Zen is very good. Well, and I hear the music helps too, which is why we chose a playlist specifically for Lost Ocean. I tried to, like I said, I tried to choose some kind of oceany, uh, oceany themes here. So hopefully that will come across. In fact, here, maybe I should. Mm. No, you know what? I'll save it for the stream because I'm afraid if I do too much, I'm going to mess something up on the stream. <laughs> the owl, the compass are easily available. Plus the larger secret gardens. I managed to get a large enchanted forest one. Oh, nice. Indeed. The music enhances rather than distracts because it's soft and low. Well, I'm glad I'll try eBay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it kind of, you know, cause can't, I mean, I do, I think, a pretty good job of keeping up with the conversation and stuff, but in those brief moments when there are lulls, I feel like the music is a nice filler. And it's not just straight up classical music, but it's nice, just kind of relaxing music. And some of this music is stuff I've used on like backgrounds of videos that I've posted and stuff. I'm good, Kimmy, but my sister got attacked by a mule deer today. Oh my goodness. Fractured her cheekbone, tore her the ligaments in her hand. She was saving her little dog. Oh my goodness. Well, is she, I assume she's okay? Oh my. Enchanted Forest Secret Garden Lost Ocean canvases are easy to get here in the UK. Magical Jungle ter is terrible. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. Messing up on stream shows, you're also human. That is true, Tyler. That is true. All right, a little bit of red here. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm so glad, Crystal. Well, you know, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the streams. I need to get a little bit more water on this. And I do the streams is because it's so much more different than the videos. Is that just, you know, it's it's live. I can answer questions. I can interact. And I really feel like, you know, you make friends as well. Hi, Amberly. Thanks for coming in. We are coloring a magical jungle canvas with our Windsor and Newton paints and our little uh, refillable Pentel uh, water brushes here. We're working on this little flower here next to the parrot. How long does it take for the paint to dry? Oh, Sherry, hardly any time at all. Like it's, it's pretty minuscule. Like the bird, the big bird that we just finished, he's already dry. Uh, this bottom leaf, it's already dry. Yeah, because we're just putting so little paint and it's basically, you're just waiting for water to dry. I mean, it's warm in here and I have a fan going, but in general, it's gonna dry pretty quickly because also the canvas isn't absorbing too much of the water and so it's not gonna take too long. It would take a lot longer if it was paper. Let's see, she has to see a surgeon for her hand or her face will just heal. Oh man, Connie, well, Hillary hopes she feels better. That's rough. Well, at least she did, I'm assuming she was successful in saving the puppy. Let's see, here with my looks Oh, thank you, Mia. Just looked at eBay, it's still expensive. Oh, I'm sorry, Miranda. So sorry, Connie, I hope she heals quickly and fully. Oh, me too, me too, that is, that is scary. Okay, so we have these little borders here. Uh, what do I wanna do, what do I wanna do? I think, and then we've got these little sprigs of things coming out here. Let's see, I need to refill my little uh, bottle. One second. Sometimes the water doesn't come out as easily as I would like if the bottle starts to get a little, em a little empty. There you go. Well, for me anyway. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, you might still be able to buy from Amazon US and I think the prices sh shouldn't be that different. I don't know, you'll just have to check it out. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we got these little borders here. Let's do, let's do some blue we haven't used yet. We're gonna use, we're gonna use this little one right here. Okay. And we're gonna start that at the bottom. And over there. Thanks, Tyler. Yes, he thinks he he is as big as the deer and he won't leave them alone. Oh no! <laughs> That's what we call small dog syndrome. <laughs> oh, it's the shipping cost more than oh, okay. Okay, I got that. Some things you can't buy from Amazon. Some don't ship to okay, yeah, that's fair. I'm getting a sort of northern lights vibe from the color blend. Okay, okay, yeah, I get that. And we're gonna use uh, that light yellow. Here. There we go. And the nice thing is, is this is now, once we're done with it, all set to hang on the wall. In fact, that's where I keep it, as I have a little spot on the wall in here uh, that I hang this in between the times that I color it. I'm gonna use that blue again here. I'm gonna clean the brush. Make sure it's nice and faded out. There we go. A little bit of yellow. My dogs think they're huge too. <laughs> oh, and they're little baby chihuahuas. Yeah, I love bright colors. Me too. The brighter the better. There we go. Yeah, this should be super colorful by the time we're done with it. <laughs> Yay, wall art! Exactly, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna get some more of that blue. Blue here. There we go. And 
that out a little bit. My giant dog thinks she's a lap dog. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like those Great Danes that just want to crawl up on your lap on the couch and then it's just like, oh man. Let me get that light yellow again. Yep, thinks he's a dog. I also have a large dog, but he thinks he's a cat since he lives with five of them. <laughs> there we go, just a few more leaves. Make sure it's nice and centered, sorry there. Hi, Violet. Mercy. Murphy is the t size of a toy shih tzu. Hi, Violet. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, I guess with better time zone, you're able to pop in a little bit. She's a three-year-old St. Bernard lab mix and behaves like a puppy. Oh, that sounds like a fluffy puppy. <laughs> well, Violet, today we just kind of did a little impromptu, kind of just for fun stream. I'm not sure if we'll finish this on stream or not, uh, just because we're going to be focusing on the uh, Lost Ocean page next week. But just thought we'd pop in for a little watercolor paint. And so today we are using our Pentel water brushes and our Winsor & Newton uh uh, watercolors and our magical jungle canvas here so just a little pop in to hang out with everyone and just kind of relax a little bit well I'm so glad to see you here Violet species confusion could be a cat dog like the old oh gosh I haven't thought about that show in ages he could be I would insert a photo of my Jasmine if I could that's funny well you know maybe we'll have to create a um a, a post on the Facebook group. Everybody can post their uh, post pictures of their pets. There you go. I have a cat that thinks he's a dog sometimes. He doesn't bark though. <laughs> There's a kid's book about a cat who thinks he's a chihuahua. Oh, that would be hilarious. My kids would probably love that. There we go. All right, I'm gonna clean the brush. Dilute that just a little bit. Bit of the yellow. There we go. Emily, do you think you're going to do more Sunday streams with bother colors? Um, I don't want to say that it's for sure because it kind of just depends on how our day goes. Today worked out um, because the husband took the kids to the grocery store, so they weren't here, um, and everything was you know good to go for it. So I don't want to say for sure. Because there's some days where like a Saturday might work out better. So for sure, I shoot for the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then if the weekend pans out, you know, if we don't have any other plans or if it just seems like a good day for it, then yes, I think I would like to try and fit in a few more. Uh, once the school year starts, I'm going to be able to do some more daytime streams. So we may split it up that way. Uh, but for now, I will say just keep an eye on Instagram because I will post there if I decide to do it. You know, if I say, okay, hey, we're going to do an impromptu uh, stream, I'll usually try and give everybody at least, an, you know, an hour or two's notice. You know, it's not just, hey, I'm online because that's not very fair. We want to give everybody a chance to, you know, come and see it. So I will give forewarning on Instagram if uh, we decide to go ahead and do it. Let's see. Skippy John's what I miss. Let's see. Skippy John Jones, <laughs> iPad app. There you go. Website too. Yes, yeah, and I'll post it on the on the web, on the Facebook. He plays fetch. It brings me to his favorite toy store. That's hilarious. Is this uh, Magical Jungle book? Yeah. So this is this image is from Magical Jungle, but this particular thing we're painting is the coloring canvas. So you can see it's kind of thick all the way around, and it's stretched across the wood frame. It's stapled and it's got a little kind of cardboard background to keep it from bowing at all. And there is a link to this down, um, and it's the Amazon US, but at the very least it'll give you the specifics of what it is that you're looking for. Uh, so yeah, it's it's the coloring canvas is what it is. And I was telling them, I initially tried to do the art markers with it, but they just didn't work out well. So I ended up doing watercolor instead, which still works. There you go, thanks Sarah. And Mia, you both did that, awesome, thank you. So, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should squeeze in one more. So I'm a little bit hungry. 
Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more. I'm going to keep saying that afterwards. Let's do these leaves here. Yeah, let's do one more. There you go. Thank you, Mia. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, let's do one more. One more, one more. So, Chad, am I... Yes, Tyler, I believe you are our, our token fella here. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to blend a new color for these leaves. So we're going to take some of that light green. I'm going to put it on our little color palette here. Here, I'll move this down so maybe you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so we're going to take... You can see I've already got some green on here, so that's going to add to the color that I'm choosing. But I want something a little bit darker. We're going to add a couple drops of water in here. There we go. <laughs> Where's Jim? I need Jim! Well, Jim may not have seen the notice, but he's hiding. There you go. Alright, so we're going to take that there, and then we're going to add... Let's see. I want to make it just a little bit darker, but I don't want to overwhelm it or turn it to be like a gray. So. I think we're going to add a little bit of this warmer brown. This one or this one, I think. This is a little too yellow, but I'm leaning towards this one. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to take just a little bit of that brown. A little bit more. Whenever you're mixing colors, definitely start with a little bit, because general rule of thumb is a little bit tends to go a long way. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. That's what we want. She is a mod now. <laughs> okay. So let's make sure this is zoomed in all the way here. I can pick up watercolor techniques, but I don't think I can paint without wrinkling up the paper in my bag. Oh, most definitely, uh, Violet. The watercolor doesn't work great in the books themselves. If you had uh, an artist edition or the canvas, that would work for sure. I just had an idea. Could the picture be stuck onto a blank white canvas using watercolor paper? Just an idea for those in the UK that can't get. Um, well, using I suppose if you're gonna print it out, how do we get to be mods, Emily? Well, for Mia, so I know Tyler, and we have another mod name, uh, Chels. I know them in real life, but for Mia, Mia has been here practically every minute of the stream so far, and she's already helped quite a bit throwing in uh, commands when I need them, so it just seemed to make sense. But I probably won't add any more till maybe we get to be a little bit bigger, because I just don't think we need any. Mostly the mod's job is to make sure that, you know, there are the occasional trolls that may came, come in, um, you know, they, they help with the commands and, you know, answer some questions in chat, but I don't think we need too many until we start getting more viewers. So right now we average anywhere from 20 to 35, I think. So, um, we do a pretty good job, but we'll see. Who knows? Maybe down the line we'll get some more. Yeah, so I think if you were to put it on there, you would need to make sure that you like had it glued down or something because it's still going to curl. It's tough because even if you were to print it onto the watercolor paper, not a lot of printers will send watercolor paper through the printer. But it's worth trying. If you try it, go ahead and let me know how it works out. And that way we can let everybody else know. All right, so we've got this slightly darker green here. Just kind of... Let's see. I've been lots of chats with Mia. She's great. That's right. Thank you, Connie. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. <laughs> and growing. Yes, I am pleased with how many we have here. And plus, if we can throw in more of these, you know, weekend morning streams so that we can get a few more, uh, you know, uh, you know, better time zone for those that are in different areas, I think that's going to help quite a bit. And I mean, we're only into our second week, so I think we're doing great. Yeah, Windsor and Newton. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, Violet, we're using the Windsor and Newton paints, and that's also in the bottom in the description. Um, there's a link to that. See, I just went over the line a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we're going to clean the brush now. For an impromptu stream, you have lots of viewers right now. I know, I'm very, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I only gave everybody about an hour notice. 
Uh, it might have been an hour and a half, but it's great. Wish there was an artist edition of Magical Jungle. Me too, Yvonne. Me too. All right, now this is just the straight up green that we used initially when we added that brown to it. I only go to a few now. I love what Emily does. Plus, we have so much fun here. Exactly. Thanks, Kimmy. You can see it's a little bit different than the other one. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get the rest of this color on. Then we're going to clean the brush. Make sure it's nice and wet. Then we're going to get some of that light yellow. Oh, thank you, Pat. Yeah, well, I wanted to make sure I added the stream elements because I feel like it brings so much more. You know, you've got the commands, you've got the interaction, you know, you've got the, the live markers for donations and subs and all of that. And it's just got so many cool little little things that you can add to it to make it than just your standard going live kind of, kind of post, you know? I think it kind of makes it a little bit more special. Okay, so we've got kind of lighter there and then what we're going to do is we are actually going to go ahead and grab i think a little bit of this color here in the bottom we're doing great and learning a lot on our second week exactly thank you pilot all right so we're going to take just a little bit of this brown can of art save my life but it's nice to watch people that can create there you go all right so we are adding this brown here and i know that it's kind of dark but we're going to blend it so bear with me here And I think for a little added fun here, we're gonna take this blue here. Emily, do you know of any budget-friendly watercolor paints? Um, okay, so I haven't experimented with a ton. I did try like the Hobby Lobby brand paints. I wasn't impressed with them. The problem with the uh, less expensive watercolor plates paints is that they're not as smooth. The issue that I was having with the, um, I think it's called, oh, what was it called? It, it's, it's the, oh, Master's Touch, that's what it was. I was, it was like, the way I can best describe when you're using a watercolor cake, so to speak, is that it sort of melts, you know, it turns into liquid. The pro but the problem with the um, ones from Hobby Lobby is that they weren't melting all the way, and so I was getting like these little chunks of paint as I was going along. So I will say I haven't experimented too much, um, but if you wanted to just practice, honestly, I would say just get a palette of the Crayola 12 and just practice blending with it and stuff. And who knows, like maybe, cause you know, they could be, I've used even like the Crayola pencils. There we go, we got some shading in there. So Koi are pretty cool. Okay, so Sarah says Koi, Koi. I haven't seen the hot today. <laughs> Does anyone ever use Derwent ink tents? Yes, I do have some Derwent ink tents. I just bought some and I'm finding them to be difficult to work with. Is it similar to... Okay, so I showed a picture earlier, I'll pull it out from Magical Jungle, that I used the Derwent ink tents on. And so you can see it's super light. So I colored lightly and then I'm just using these I just very lightly went over it enough to saturate the color and move it around a little bit. But I just, I had to go really slow and color very lightly. Probably if I was braver, I could have done it, you know, pressed a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, I would say uh, just use in, in the books themselves. Yeah, they do. They work best in, in, in layers to be sure. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the other one over here. We're gonna add some of that standard green here, not a ton. Okay, just like that. Let's see. Thank you, Amberly. Hi, Lisa. Let's see, make sure I didn't miss anyone here. I'm gonna try the Paul Rubin shimmery ones. Okay, cool. I haven't tried those. Gansy Tambi watercolors are pretty good. I haven't tried those. This to me. Is that the regular book or artist edition? Uh, Kathy, this is the canvas. This is the, uh, see it's got stretched and stapled over a wood frame. Um, but yes, this is the coloring canvas. And doing intense or ink sense, very little time to move around the ink. Yes, I will say that. Yeah, you don't have much time to move around with them. They're, they're not nearly as forgiving. Charlotte's coloring therapy. Hello, Charlotte. 
thank you for coming in. All right, we'll zoom back in here. Emily, what pen are you using for this? Because some, some flood the page. Uh, I'm using the Pentel uh, water pens. Um, I think if you put in brushes, exclamate brush or brushes, Ooh, I changed up. Um, but yes, the Pentel water pens, they're just refillable. And you just have to be careful not to, you know, you don't squeeze them more than you need to. Yeah. Inexpensive paint. I was impressed with the Prang 12. Let's see, let's zoom that back in. I haven't tried that one. Oh, the one that I used ink tents on. I want to say I used these on the ink tents ones. Yeah, I want to say I just used these, but it was the, uh, the little one with the little nib. Because these, I got them in a pack of three and it was small, medium, and large. But if you really didn't want to chance it potentially overflowing, you could just get a tiny brush and just dip it in your water and then dab it on a paper towel. Those of you that can't see, this is what I'm using to clean my brush. Here, we'll zoom out a little bit. So whenever I want to clean it, I just kind of spin it around in a circle and then I've got a nice clear brush, but I end up with a pretty, pretty soaked paper towel. And if you wanted to be a little bit more uh, cost effective or I suppose environmentally friendly, you can use, um, like I've used an old t-shirt for that too. Hi, Melissa. Good to see you here. We did kind of an impromptu little, little uh, stream today. So let's see. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of that brown again here at the bottom. Just a little bit. And we'll blend that in. Uh, the artistician book? No, that one was the actual, uh, that one was the actual color book. I don't think they actually have a artist edition um, for that one. Unfortunately, not yet. Hopefully they'll put one out at some point. I'm using a little bit of that green that I mixed to just kind of help blend that brown a little bit. And I'm gonna clean the brush and I'm gonna get some of that blue again. Let's see, what did I use for that? I to remember sometimes, I think it was some of this. It is on the Johanna canvas, Melissa, yes. Okay, so we're gonna use some of this blue here. clean the brush. She does need more artist editions to be sure. Of course, that being said, I have a lot of artist edition pages that I have not colored on. So, <laughs> all right, there we go. That's nice. Take a quick water break here. It is with watercolors. Yes. Oh, thanks Miranda. Yeah, Melissa, I am using the Windsor and Newton uh, watercolors here. It's the 45 half pans with the uh, refillable Pentel water pens. I visited guard center today. Whenever you color leaves, they're so realistic. Oh, thanks, Yvonne. Oh, that's definitely, they're, they're fun to have. <laughs> there we go. Windsor and Newton watercolors. There we go, perfect. So now let's see, let's do, we're gonna do some of the darker green. Yes, what Tyler just linked. We also have a new Facebook group. Hi Tabata, thanks for coming in. I wish I could stick around more, but it's late over here where I live, so I'm gonna say goodnight everyone. Bye Emily. Good night, Violet, thank you for swinging in. I'm so glad you were able to. It's wonderful having you here. All right, we're gonna do this a little bit and then we're gonna blend that, that green just a little bit. So now we're gonna clean the brush. There we go. So that was pretty, pretty saturated. Now we're gonna clean the brush and we're gonna take this in just a little bit just so we don't have any harsh lines here. There we go, drag that on down. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit more of this. Let's see. We are going to put some at the top here. A little more. There we go. Get the 
a little bit more wet. Have a good night, Violet. Thank you again for swinging by. There we go. A little bit more of the green. Gotta start dinner, so I have to go. Thanks so much for this stream. I learned so much. I'm so glad, Kathy. Well, we'll try and do a few more, uh, a few more weekend streams here, so that the time change maybe works better with with uh, others that don't necessarily can't make uh, the evening streams. Because I know when I try to eat with three dogs watching, oh, you're gonna have to share some of that, Mia. <laughs> I know that me doing it, you know, central time in the evening is not necessarily conducive to everybody else, but we'll have to, we'll have to try and figure something out. We're doing some of this light blue here now too. A little light blue. Bye, Kathy. Have a good night. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, a little bit more blue. And we're gonna grab just a little smidge of yellow here and bring that into the blue. A bit more yellow and bring that into the blue. There we go. Question is, what are we gonna do with this line in the middle here? Bye, Kathy. Uh, let's see. Let's do. All right, we're gonna do this darker green here. We're just gonna do it in the sides here. Yeah. And we're gonna clean the brush. We're gonna blend that just a little bit here. And then, well, thank you, Connie. And believe me, there's as much, just as much question in my mind as to whether or not it'll work. Take a little bit of that yellow and we're just blending it to the edge. Anyone else here in Florida and absolutely dying of heat? Well, I'm not in Florida, Amberly, but we've had some pretty warm days here that I am not entirely thrilled with, to be sure. We had a heat advisory warning that the feels like was 110. I was like, good lord, 110. That's insane. We're gonna take a little bit of brown here. Let me darken this up a little bit. 110 is unnatural. <laughs> there we go, a little bit of brown. There we go, I like that. Okay. Thanks, Connie. It's been the high 90s and the feels like 100, 900 help. Yeah, we're right there with you, Amber. Like right now, yeah, it's, it's a little ridiculous. I've definitely got the fan going. I'm not in Florida, but in California, it's still dying to heat. But you have the humidity. Oh, the humidity is the worst. Humidity just makes it that much more awful. All right, let's get that centered there. All right. We're going to add a little bit. It makes me angry. <laughs> it's like living in Dragon's Mouth here. Oh, yeah, I hear you on that. of this green here. It's hot here in Georgia. Yeah, pretty much any of this southern states are getting hit with that heat. But thankfully summer doesn't last forever. And even more of a reason to stay inside and watch streams. <laughs> uh, Miranda, what is your favorite medium to work with? Um, probably pencils. I find that I can control it a little bit more. There's always a a factor with paints that is uncontrollable but yeah probably probably pencils want to switch places Mia? there you go we're in Florida I live part-time in Clearwater just got back from Michigan three weeks ago all right Michigan's got to be pretty nice right now I used to live in North Carolina and I don't miss the humidity one bit in Scotland the weather is so mixed up it's a high topic oh but Yvonne it's so wonderful up there I went when I went and visited uh, it was in March and it was so cold. I went and saw uh, Slane's castle and oh my goodness, it was so windy and so cold, but it was so wonderful. Scotland is my kind of weather. I would be in heaven if I could move to Scotland. I would absolutely like the rainy, wet weather. That is my jam and I would, I would be so, so happy if I settled in Scotland. That would be amazing. 
Can you, I live in Cape Corral, Fort Myers. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I would love. I mean, I, you know, I went there once, and it's seventies. What in Scotland, Kimmy? It's the seventies in Scotland right now. That's a little too dark. But I'd like we're gonna lighten that a little bit. I don't think she complained about the heat. I only have 48 degrees Fahrenheit and it's raining like... I would love that right now, Charlotte. I will take your 48 degrees Fahrenheit and your rain. That is my perfect weather. I would take it. I'm in Concord, North Carolina, north of, north of Charlotte. Today is Sunday, right? Yes, Kelly, it is. But I decided to do an impromptu uh, little stream with some watercolors. We're going to be officially starting uh, Lost Ocean tomorrow, but I thought uh, today... Uh, the kiddos were out of the house doing the grocery shopping with uh, with uh, the husband and so I thought it seemed like a good opportunity to get a little impromptu stream time in. Just something kind of fun, not something we're necessarily going to do all the time, but I thought it'd be a nice way to get in touch with those that are in different time zones. It was sunny today, nice of to see us. See, I live in North Carolina, Sarah, which area do you live in? Okay. We try to do Sanibel Beach as often as possible. It's gorgeous. So we could, you guys are crazy. I want summer and hot weather. No, I want I want springtime and wintertime and cold, wet weather. Like, yeah. I love, 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 love the rain. I, you know, although I clarified the other day, I love the rain until it's dangerous. So, I mean, if it's life-threatening weather, no thank you. But a nice little rain inside, nice and toasty. Wintertime is my absolute favorite time. Sand on the beach is white. Oh, oh, I love, I love so That's so pretty. Heat equals awful. <laughs> 73 and low humidity is my perfect condition. Oh my goodness, Connie, you and I, yeah, I'd be right there with you. With a little bit of a light breeze. Yeah. You thought I was confused. No worries, Kelly. No worries. We, uh, we, this was all just kind of seemed like a good day to do it. This was not planned. I had posted on Instagram. Uh, just briefly trying to get the opinion and everybody seemed to be uh, good for the idea so I popped on here and yeah I probably won't be on much longer just because uh, we've been a couple hours I think already and I want a snack but it seemed yeah exactly a bonus stream it just seemed like a like a good idea I was gonna do this anyway so I figured why not stream it you know okay so we're gonna add some of that yellow there on the end And we're gonna get some of that brown again. I lived in Jacksonville, okay. Okay, we're gonna throw in some of that brown on here. Let's get a little bit more. There we go. Now we're gonna get some of that green for the stem. There we go. Sarah, I wanted to live in Jacksonville, it's pretty there. Is it safe for kids? Oh, you know, I realized we forgot to do these little fronds from the flower. We'll have to go back and do that here in just a second. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to clean the brush. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, now we'll quickly go back and we'll do those little fronds here. And I think I've got this little bit of purple here that I blended at some point on the palette and I think I'm going to use that. So it's not a standard color in the palette but it's just a little kind of darker purple that I blended that I think would be good for this. So we're going to... It really is just kind of like a darker purple but we're going to add something to this that will kind of make it pop a little bit. So just a little bit of purple there. Then we are going to grab, let's see, we want, we want this one. <laughs> no problem. Just seemed like a good time to do it. It's been years, so I'm not sure how it is now, but it's usually full marines and sailors, so it depends on what you do. There you go. All right, so we're gonna use this kind of pink here, just go in just a little bit. A little bit more there. A little bit more there. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna blend it a little bit. 
her colors tend to be a little forgiving, so that's nice. There we go. All right. Okay, so... New fresh vegetables. Going out to the farm later. Fresh vegetables and strawberries. That sounds wonderful. Okay, so let's see. What time did we get on here? I think we've been going for about two hours at least. I'll have to look and see exactly how long it is. I wonder if we can do... Exclamation point. Up time see if that works. It might be a command. I'm not sure. I know at one point I tried it. Maybe that might not work. All right. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it doesn't say what time I started. I right, have a belated Father's Day luau that's after uh, this afternoon. Well, nice. Okay. So today we have watercolored let me close this up here so that we can take a look at what we've got here. A little bit easier. All right, so we use the Winsor & Newton watercolors. We used our little medium size. We used the medium size one for this whole thing. So medium size little Pentel refillable. We painted, so this bird and this part of this flower and these were already done. But we did our little, I don't know, I kind of think this is a girl and this is the boy, but not to be gender specific, maybe they're both girls, I don't know, but. Um, so we did this little fella here, we did this flower here, and we did these leaves. And I think we've been going a couple hours, so I think I'm gonna call it here. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on today, do kind of a fun little impromptu watercolor weekend here, and say hi to everybody. And tomorrow we will be back and we're going to be doing, um, let's see, I don't have it close by, but we're gonna be doing Lost Ocean and we are going to be using Prismacolors. I'm not sure the color palette we're gonna use yet. I need to reorganize my Prismacolors um, for that. But yeah, so just wanted to say hi to everybody on the weekend and we got a little painting done and I will see all of you beautiful people tomorrow so 8 30 p.m central time is when we're gonna get started and yeah we're gonna get some lost ocean coloring done so that'll be good all right well everyone have a great rest of your weekend enjoy your sunday thanks pat i'm glad i did too all right okay everybody have a great afternoon night morning whatever time of day it is for you <laughs> and uh i will see you all tomorrow Bye.